Hey everybody, this is my 36 week update. Um, a lot has gone on this week. I'm going to the doctor once a week now. And um, this is my third baby. Third baby boy. And I actually gave birth at 36 weeks with my last one. So I've been really been paying attention to my body and the signs of preterm labor because I'm kind of like freaked out about it. I really don't want this baby to come early. But um it's possible. Um I went to the doctor on Wednesday and there was no um they actually didn't even check my cervix. They checked it the two weeks before. But um there was no contractions, like, there was nothing wrong, nothing going on. Um, this week, my, um, nipples have been, like, sore and big. And I was in the shower the other day looking at them to make sure nothing was wrong, honestly. And the col it looked like colostrum was coming out already. So, obviously, that's the reason why they're getting bigger. Um, I still have my hip pain that hasn't gone away. But now I'm starting to have pressure down below, like, hurts. I can't even do my kegels, really, because it hurts. But, par for the course. <laughs> um... Also, I've been have I've been more hormonal this week than I think maybe the entire pregnancy. I don't know what it is. Like there's nothing significant going on. There's no really any big changes. Like nothing's really going on that I'm specifically thinking about, but my anxiety and just everything is like through the roof. Where my stomach hurts, like, bad. I don't really understand it. It's almost like I can't even, like, cry. Like, there's nothing wrong. There's not something on my mind, whatever. I don't know. I just choke it up to be hormones. But at least I've been lucky that I've made it this far and haven't really had much, um many mood swings or anything like that um I did want to talk about me traveling this weekend I talked to my doctor about it it's only we're going four hours away and I really wanted to just see what he would say because you know I don't have any signs I don't I haven't lost my plug. I haven't had any contractions. I haven't dilated. Like, nothing's going on. So, what he told me was he can't tell me whether I can go or not. It's up to me. There's nothing wrong with a pregnant woman traveling in a car. And that it's really up to me. He said he can't tell me if I'm going to go into labor or not. And he can't tell me that I can't go. That's basically what he said. He said that if I did give birth, obviously, it's my decision to be going into a hospital that I don't know any doctors. They don't know me, you know, so that's a risk right there. But um, it being in the same state and it being only four hours and it's kind of like a big deal my husband's whole family will be there, and, um, you know, it's kind of important to us. I'm going to take the chance. I've got my hospital bag packed. Um, I've got the hospital that's the closest and the best recommended for labor and delivery. I've got all of that checked out and address and phone number and everything, um, Obviously, we'll still be going into the emergency room. Like, I won't know any doctors, but 
at least we have everything kind of set in case something did happen but it's only for two days so i'm hoping the baby will stay in for this trip you know but it, i mean it being in the same state really was one of the biggest um things for me because it was still taking my insurance and everything you know that was one thing i thought about for sure if y'all are going to be traveling i would think about that if it's a different state um you know, will they take your insurance and things like that? Because it's a big deal. Um, having a child is expensive in the hospital. And you never know what's going to happen. I mean, if you have to have an emergency C-section or anything that could happen. And you might not be prepared to pay those bills. So you definitely need your insurance to be covered. Um... I think that's about it. Nothing else has really changed. Um, I'm definitely getting bigger. I actually did. I actually gained some weight. Every time before. I don't know if I've told y'all this. But every visit before. I haven't gained any weight. Since my initial first visit. And partly. That's probably because I had just had a baby. And I was six months postpartum when I got pregnant with this one. So I still had a lot of weight that I had to lose. So every time I was going in, I hadn't gained any weight. I had lost weight. And so this is the first visit, 36 weeks, that I actually gained like two pounds. And um, I honestly don't even think that was the baby. Seriously, I think it was Mother's Day because my husband got me two bags of dove chocolate and I've been eating them. So, <laughs> not that I've been watching my weight. I have been watching what I eat this pregnancy. I'm more healthy. I'm more conscious of what I'm eating. I don't do the fast food. Like, I am very picky. But I'm on no means on, like, a diet or anything. I eat what I want to eat basically it just turns out that what I want to eat is usually healthy so that's a good thing um I think that's about it if y'all want to see an update I will update y'all on what happens this weekend if y'all want to know like what's in my hospital bag and everything like that I'll probably do that video we'll see it's my third baby, so there's really not a lot in there. I mean, I was looking at it the other day with my mother, and there's no, it looks like there's, like, nothing in there, really. But um, I'll go ahead and do that if y'all want me to. Leave it in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See y'all next time.